Chemistry agreed Barak and Holland to host this international chemistry conference. Ladies and gentlemen, more than 350 scientists from more than 36 different countries are participating in this conference. This conference is aimed to provide an international field for you to bring together sessions, experts, from academia, research institutions, and industrial companies working in the field of pure cycling and applied pure cycling chemistry. Collectively, we will share ideas and ideas and discuss cutting edge research present experience uh, with recent development in chemistry and to provide practical guidance to develop our countries. The difficult round of involved involvement. The latest of the rates and the most existing developments in scientific research and chemistry, I would like to take this opportunity to express my sincere thanks to members of the Grammarian and Scientific Committee for extending their experience, experience and support. Lastly, lastly, I would like to thank our, 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 thanks our conference sponsorship partners science and technology development funds in Egypt, technology and chemical abstracts, advanced and chemical, chemical companies, association of our university, universities, international society of applied chemistry, and journal of social and applied chemistry. In closing, I hope that all of you will enjoy the conference and I wish our programs from above will have a very pleasant stay in our city. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Dr. Ahmad Mohamed Sabri, for your fruitful comments. Now, let's invite Professor Dr. Amin Fahmi, Vice President of Egyptian Nucleocyclic Chemical Society. He's welcome for his talk. Ladies and gentlemen, this important, the importance 
focus of the conference comes from the fact that heterocyclic chemistry plays a vital role in our sustainable needs. As you know, heterocyclic compounds are used in our daily life as a pharmaceutical food additive, cosmetics, herbicides, insecticides, fertilizer, plant growth hormone, lubricants, dyes, corrosion inhibitors, supercompactors, etc. So we will we invite all of you to find sustainable solutions to our society's needs. To build a new chemistry, chemical industry with a total quality in the global age, we need good research and educational systems beside high green technology. So we want to take this occasion as a scientist, industrialist, educators to work together for the following objectives. To raise the public appreciation and understanding of chemistry, especially heterocyclic chemistry. To create a new international unanimity to secure our sustainable future. To use our chemistry to bridge the gap between Egypt, developing countries, and the rest of the world. To make use of this evidence to strengthen the scientific, technological, educational cooperation between us for the cause of peace and the sustainable future. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and colleagues, as you know, the world suffers from the complicated global problems like global terrorism, global warming, environmental pollution, shortage of food, energy, poor health care, poor chemistry education. So, your presence here is highly important because none of us can crack these challenges alone. But within the frame of our scientific cooperation, we can find a reasonable solution, solution to our societies. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, finally, I would like to offer my thanks to His Excellency and the friend Professor Sultan Abarab for his coming, and also my <coughs> thanks goes to Excellency Professor Ahmed Touri Deen, President of the Conference and the President of Suhaib University for his kind support of the conference. Also my thanks goes to Professor Dr. Ahmed Suleiman Deen, Faculty of Science Suhaib University and to Professor Ahmed Sahir and Organizing and Scientific Committee. Finally, I am sure that this conference will be memorable highly efficient and will help us for better understanding each other, which create a sort of science diplomacy for sustainable future of our societies. I wish all of you a happy stay and in Uganda and a safe return of your home. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Professor Dr.